Smart and Special Teaching presents Reading with our Controlled Vowels. You know the vowels A, E, I, O, and U. Their short sounds are A, E, I, A, and U. Uh, but they change when an R is next to them. The R likes to be in charge, so it is the one you hear when it's next to a vowel. In the word chat, it's a closed syllable and the vowel is short. When you add an R, the A changes its sound and chat becomes chart. In the word shot, the vowel is short. But when you put an R next to it, the O changes its sound. The word becomes short. In the word hot, the vowel is short. It's a closed syllable. But when you put an R next to the U, it says er, and now hut becomes hurt. In the word bid, the vowel is short, saying if. But when you put an R next to it, the I changes its sound, and if becomes er. The word becomes bird. In the word gem, the vowel is short, saying eh. But when you put an R next to it, the eh turns into er, and the word becomes germ. The R control of vowels can be in other syllable types as well. Let's try one in a consonant LE syllable. I thought of one, marble. Here we have constant LE at the end. The R controlled words can take a suffix. Let's try one with the suffix ED. Bark is the base word, ed is the suffix, it becomes the word but. You may need to use the 111 rule with an R controlled base word when adding a suffix to it. Here we have the word star. Star has one syllable, one vowel, one consonant after the vowel, and we're adding a vowel suffix, I-N-G. So because of that, we need to double the R before we add the suffix. Star becomes starring. You can also use the drop E rule with an R controlled word and a suffix. Here we have the word stare. Stare has a silent E at the end and I'm adding a suffix, I-N-G. I need to drop the silent E before I add the I-N-G. Stare becomes staring. Don't get confused though. Some people might think this is staring, but it's not, it's staring. Remember, staring had a double R at the end because of the 111 rule. When there are two R's next to each other, they control each other and not the vowel. So, the vowel can say its short sound again. So look at this example. This is the word cherry. The two R's are controlling each other. They're leaving that E alone. So the E can say it's a sound again, cherry. 
Here's another example. We have this word right here where the two R's are controlling each other. So in the word marry, the two R's are controlling each other and the A can say it short sound again. Ah, marry. W-O-R says were, like in the word worm. W-A-R says war, like in the word warm. So W can also change the sound of a vowel, similar to how R changes the sound of a vowel. Try reading these sentences. This sentence has the word instructor in it. The base word is instruct. The OR is a suffix and it's saying the sound er. This sentence says the instructor is teaching us. Here we have the word beggar. Beg is the base word. AR is the suffix. It's a vowel suffix and beg is a one 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 word. So we double the G and add AR. It is saying er. This sentence says the dog is quite a beggar. Here we have OR saying er again. The doctor will help the child. Here we have a sentence with WOR in the word world. The WOR is saying were. Where in the world did you travel? Now look at this one. WAR is saying war. So I saw a swarm of bees. The last one, we have a ward. Did she win an award? W-O-R is saying war. And we have a schwa. The A is saying a uh, in award. I hope this presentation on our controlled bells has been helpful to you. If you need more activities for learning about our controlled bells, please visit my store for more special teaching. Thank you. If you need more reading resources, please click on the link below for my store, Smart and Special Teaching, where you'll find many resources for teaching reading and writing, especially for children with special needs. Thanks for watching.